The amount of electric car is climbing, and charging has become so intuitive. But have you ever wondered how all these words and numbers work together to charge an electric car? It can be confusing because there are so many ways to pour the juice into the battery. In this video, we will introduce you to two types of EV chargers and how to choose them. If we take a look inside the chargers, it will be more clear to see that the single-phase charger has three wires connected to the grid, and the three-phase charger has five. On the single-phase charger, three wires are PE, N, and L1. The PE wire, also known as the ground wire, is used as a safety feature in electrical circuits. The N wire, also known as the neutral wire, carries the return current back to the power source. The L1 wire carries the current from the power source to the load. Since the voltage between the phase wire, L1, and the neutral wire is 230 volts, and the charger is designed to deliver up to 32 amps of current. Therefore, the maximum power that can be delivered by a single phase charger is around 7 kilowatts. On the other hand, in a three-phase charger, power is delivered using three-phase wires, L1, L2, and L3. So the voltage is simply being carried three times more than the single-phase charger in a given time. Take Autel products as an example. Our AC Maxa chargers are designed to provide different powers for various scenarios. A single phase charger will take a little longer to charge, but that's okay if you can leave your car in the garage overnight. In the city and urban charging scenario, a three phase charger will charge your car faster so you can get back on the road quicker. So that's the difference between a single phase and three phase chargers in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one.